In this session, I'll quickly show you how to set up Zoiper on your Android phone. To get started, download Zoiper. Go to the Google Play Store and search for Zoiper. There are several options, because Zoiper has a paid version and a free version. The one you want to install is the one that is gray with the purple tip. Install Zoiper, I exited the phone. Once it's installed, Zoiper is a fantastic software that enables you to receive calls via VoIP framework. Zoiper has really optimized this technology by making sure that even if your internet connection is slow, you still get a very good call. Once it's installed, click on Open, and that will open it for you. For this demonstration, all we need is a free account, so we're not going to bother subscribing for anything extra. Click on Agree and continue on the first screen. And like I said, we just need the free one, so don't bother about the seven days trial. Next, on the top right hand corner, you will see the skip button. Click the skip button to move to the next page. On the this page, enter your extension number. For this demonstration, I'll be using 1010 and the extension number. So enter your extension number with the at sign, followed by the server address. My server address is omnivoice.com.ng. You can confirm your server address from your VOIP service provider. Next, enter colon, followed by the port address, which in my case is 5060. So the username should be 1010 at omnivoice.com.ng colon 5060. Then you enter the password. Of course, you already have the password from your VOIP provider. So, that's it. Click on Login. On the next screen, we're just going to confirm the host name. So, I have omnivoice.com.ng colon 5060. That's correct. Then click on Next button. And on the next screen, click on Skip. And then wait for confirmation. Zoiper will try to verify which of the protocols is available from your VOIP provider. So, for me, I have SIP TCP found. Sometimes, you will have SIP UDP found, or you will have SIP TLS found. If one of the options is green, you can click on Finish. However, if none of these turn green, then you have to go back and check the credentials that you supply. And do it all over again. So, as soon as this is green, I'll click on Finish. And once you click on Finish, that completes the setup of the account. Now, we can start using Zappa. Make sure you allow all the notifications. Allow. Then, this notification, you have to go under Settings. Sound and Notification. Click on Do Not Disturb. You need to enable that for Zoiper. Depending on what brand of phone you are using, Zoiper is able to take you directly to that page. However, if your phone brand does not take you directly there, you can go under Settings and look for the Do Not Disturb permission. And then search for Zoiper among the extensive list of applications. And flip it on. And click on Allow. That is done. I've allowed Zoiper. Then you can click on the Back button. It will bring you back here. You will see another notice. Click on OK. And then select Allow. So, all the Zoiper notifications need to be properly set up. If it is not properly set up, then you have issues. The last notification you need to set up requires that you lock your phone. Lock that phone. Take note of the extension number. This extension number I'm using is 1010. OK. So, you will need to lock that phone. And then try and call your number so that Zoiper rings out. Once Zoiper rings out, the last notification will show and you can enable it. Alright, that should be it.